welcome to Jewelry Brushes for Sketchbook. In this video, I am going to tell you very, very important tips and tricks that you have to consider before starting to use these brushes. So please, before using these brushes, the Jewelry Brushes for Sketchbook, watch this video and you will learn how to use these brushes much, much more efficiently and much more, you will be much more productive using these brushes. So. The first thing I'm going to tell you before we start doing anything, please, please always try using dark background when you're drawing or when you're designing. Like the background I'm using here, it's a dark gray. So you can use gray, uh, you can use dark gray, blue, dark blue, black, whatever. Uh, what's important is uh, it has to be a dark background because your jewelry will pop up more and it will look much, much more realistic. So, so another tip. And for example, we're using uh, the pink gold diamond round. I'll, I'll be using this brush. As you can see, it's very easy to just with a stroke of a pen to create a line. But let's say, for example, you want something uh, like you want more levels, you want more thickness, you want something to start small then gets bigger and bigger and then gets smaller. So you have to open the settings and go to the the size with heavy pressure and size with light pressure. So so we go first to the size with the heavy pressure and as you can see the size increases and um, from the two ends uh, the size remains the same. So now when you draw a line, you start with, uh, with a little bit of pressure and you can see that we have multiple sizes now. So you just press, you release your hand and you have multiple sizes. This is very important because a lot of time and you will need it like 80% of the time you will need these settings. Because in jewelry we do a lot of a lot of variables in sizes, so it's very important to to learn about this like size with heavy pressure and the size with light pressure. It's very important to 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 know about this setting and to always tweak it. The second thing I want to tell you, it's very very important, is that uh, it it's almost impossible to use these brushes without checking out this setting. Let's say I'm using uh, a pear shape, a pear shape pink gold diamond. Okay, so let's say I have, um, a, let's say I'm gonna do something very fast here. Okay, let's say I have like a flower. I'm just creating a quick sketch, maybe a quick flower or something, whatever. Okay. I want to use the pier stone using this brush. So if I want to use the brush as it is, it's impossible to put the stones where I want them to go. It's very hard. So I'll undo everything. And I'll go back and I use the steady stroke. The setting here, the steady stroke, which is called steady stroke. Okay. So when I click steady stroke and I can tweak the values, so the, ha the higher the values, the more it will like create like a track. So you will know where the brush will land and where, where your stone will land. Okay. So can you see the trail now? I'm drawing the diamonds with the exact orientation that I want. I'm placing the stones in this, in the same location that I want with the orientation that I want. So it's very, very, very important to use the steady stroke. So it makes, uh, it makes things much, much easier and you can be very accurate. So let's, for example, do it a bit bigger. Okay, I'll try going with the bigger stones. This is one, two, three, four, and go smaller and then go, this is, five, six, seven, 
eight. So as you can see, with the trail, with the trail, as you can see, I've increased the, the settings to 86 and you see the trail is longer now when I, so you see, you know exactly where the line is going. So yes, without the steady stroke, it's very, very hard to, you know, draw straight lines and to decide the orientation of the stones. So let's go again, set this to 23. This is mostly the default that I use. Okay, another example, let's go, I'll be using maybe the triangle. So this is with the steady stroke. That's a circle with the steady stroke. And I'll make a circle without the steady stroke. So you see the difference? It's, it's very, very hard. One other thing is to use the predictive stroke. Predictive stroke is very, very um, helpful in creating, you know, very, very good straight lines and circles. So I'll show you an example. So this is on, you see I've drawn a circle. It fixes the circle automatically. It is so easy. This is the predictive stroke. If you cancel it and just draw a circle, let's try it. You see what will happen now? It's very hard. So I'll go back again to the steady stroke. And I will go with something like this one. This is the bezeled marquise pink gold. Okay, so the steady stroke is on. And I'll make like a quick sketch. So now I want to put I want to put the marquees exactly where in these outlines, let's say. Okay? So without the steady stroke it's impossible to do it. As you can see, I only have one orientation which is automatically decided. But if I want to decide the orientation exactly, I go with the steady stroke again. Okay? So I'll go with the steady stroke again and then I'll decide the orientation exactly. So I'll just, I'll just touch the screen and drag towards the orientation that I want. And as you can see, I can place the marquees wherever I want. I can, I can place the stone wherever I want. So as you can see, it's very easy. I'll move to also another very important tip. Always make sure when you're designing something is to check the spacing and the rotation. Okay, so what is spacing and rotation? Sometimes when you draw, like when using a bigger brush, let's say, okay, for example, this one, let's say a big brush like, as you can see, as you can see the lines or the marquees are next to each other. But if you go smaller, we'll start to see spaces between them. So what we can do is we can go to spacing and increase or decrease the spacing so we'll have so whatever the size of the stones we use the stone we're using we can have the marquees next to each other and you need it especially when you're using the 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 the, the size with the heavy pressure and size with the light pressure you can see the stones will start to overlap so you can play with the spacing to 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 just move them a bit apart. Always you have to compensate using the spacing. And you always have to pick up something between the two, between the smaller and the bigger stone, because we don't want gaps and we don't want them to overlap. So you always have to go in between. So as you can see now, I'm going from bigger to smaller and I tweak the spacing and I tweaked the size with a heavy pressure. And another very important thing I want to talk about is the rotation. Okay, so how can I use rotation to my advantage? Let's say for example, I'm doing 
mm, let's say I'll reset everything okay let's say for example I'm doing something um, just a quick sketch okay so that's a quick outline and I'm having like uh, a marquee like this okay so okay of course I can go with a steady stroke and I can use the marquees and put each one by one using the steady stroke okay or deciding the orientation that I want as you can see okay I can do it one by one but but I can also do them with one stroke of a pen okay one stroke of a brush but I can do it because the brush is straight so the default of the brush of the brushes setting is straight okay so if I want it to be on an angle what I have to do is I have to go to the rotation and you know you see the rotation of the stone it's changing as you can see then I go to spacing I tweak the spacing a bit and now I can do the line with the stroke of a brush you see it's so easy it's very easy and it's very very fast then I can add maybe uh, some maybe sizing let's play with the size with the heavy pressure and the size with this with the with the light pressure so so the size with the heavy pressure and the size with the light pressure combined with the spacing combined with the rotation will give me this brush so you see I can go thicker and bigger with just one stroke of a brush so this is the maybe maybe this is uh, these are the most important tips that you need to know actually these brushes are so 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 productive so if I want to make like a like a quick review uh, always make a dark background whatever you're using always use the steady stroke when you want to control the orientation of the brush and the stones um, try using the predictive stroke whenever you want to make like straight easy lines circles or whatever also the steady stroke will help you to create smooth lines as well then remember to use the size with a heavy pressure and the size with a light pressure just to go from smaller to bigger uh, remember spacing spacing and rotation uh, they will help you to put your stones either closer together or farther apart from each other and the rotation will help you also uh, to change the rotation of the brush and the rotation of the stone so I think that's it for this video I hope this video is uh, is helpful and please if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video